Hello and welcome to our next episode of Kaplan's Online Introduction to America. My name is Todd Hansen. I'm a teacher here at Kaplan. And let me now introduce you to one of the great cities of America, Chicago. Chicago is world famous for being a center for finance, business overall, and also have being a city with a lot of character. Uh, Chicago is located in Illinois and it's on the shores of Lake Michigan, one of the large Great Lakes, uh, kind of in the north middle part of America. Now uh, Chicago is also famous recently because our new and extremely exciting uh, president, Barack Obama, uh, is actually recently from there, spent much of his adult life there, and uh, he's brought a lot of uh, recognition to that city recently as well. Additional interesting things about Chicago, uh, being right on that big lake, it has a lot of interesting water activities that you can do, a beautiful waterfront that you can walk along. Uh, Chicago is also uh, very famous for having an unbeatable, amazing music scene. Uh, especially for jazz. Chicago jazz is probably second to New Orleans jazz as being some of the funnest, most exciting music to listen to in America. Uh, additionally, uh, Chicago is very architecturally distinct with a lot of buildings having been designed by Frank Lloyd Wright, one of the most famous architects in America and one of the most famous art architects in modern history. So it's a very beautiful city to behold. Um, finally, uh, Chicago has a lot of great cuisine, astounding restaurants, and really impressive art museums. It's really a wonderful place uh, to live overall. Um, actually, one more thing about Chicago. Uh, if you really want to get a great view of Chicago, uh, what is formerly known as the Sears Tower, it's now known as the Willis Tower, uh, one of the tallest buildings in America at 442 meters tall. That's tall. I'm only two meters tall, but not even that. Um, you can actually go to the top and they have an amazing observation deck where you can look down at all the city and the lakes and really get a feeling for what's going on there. It's an amazing experience. They've actually even updated that observation deck where they have a glass enclosed observation area where you can step out and look straight down through a glass floor 103 floors below you. It makes the Bay Oak Sky Tower look like a small hut by the river by comparison. Now, uh, two universities that are very famous in Chicago are uh, Northwestern University and of course the University of Chicago. Northwestern University is actually located about 10 or 15 miles north of Chicago in Evanston, but it's a very quick drive to come down to Chicago and not a bad place to live if you want to be outside the city, but still have very immediate and easy access to the city at the same time. Uh, Northwestern's business school is ranked fourth in America overall, very highly regarded school, um, as well as its undergraduate program overall is rated 12th. Uh, the University of Chicago also has a highly ranked uh, graduate program, ranked fifth, just behind uh, Northwestern University. And finally, uh, the University of Chicago is well regarded for its undergraduate programs, uh, being ranked eighth overall for all of its undergraduate programs. So whether you go there for business or you're interested in going there um, for undergrad to either of those universities, you'll be very well off. They also have uh, very highly regarded law schools and other professional schools as well. So if you're interested in going to what's known as the Windy City and having great architecture, music and all those things, Chicago might just be the place for you. That's it for today. We'll see you next time.